around where I live. When it snows, everybody gets their four-wheelers and snowmobiles out and goes riding on the road. Almost 11 years ago, I crashed an ATV into a telephone pole. I lost complete control as well as feeling in my right arm from my shoulder um, clear down to my hand. Push it towards me. And the nerve pain started the minute I woke up. Constant, constant, 24 hours a day, all the time. Uh, pins and needles. You would have crushing sensation. You would have a fire sensation. When the nerves that normally attach to our spinal cord actually get ripped out of the spinal cord, we can develop some very severe neuropathic pain syndromes. You feel the pain in the hand even though your hand can't feel anything. That pain is absolutely debilitating. It's the kind of pain that people truly will consider and even go ahead with committing suicide. My life 100% revolved around my pain. No matter what you do, you can't get away from it. It's excruciating and you feel like there's no way out. Bob unfortunately had a very severe injury, but over 100 million Americans suffer from chronic pain. That's why we have a Neurosurgery Pain Research Institute. So the institute really is, is focusing on developing a, a comprehensive and, and, and better understanding of pain. From the single molecule um, all the way up to the whole person. In my own laboratory, we're very interested on the very earliest events that happen when sensory neurons in our skin and in other tissues trigger the sensation of pain. And now with the resources that this institute provides us, uh, we're able to very meaningfully tie together investigators. So we can collaborate and really move back and forth from the clinic to the laboratory and back to the clinic to help our patients. And the donors who made the Neurosurgery Pain Research Institute possible, they became interested in the problem of how one treats pain uh, because uh, the husband uh, had, had suffered horribly from, from chronic pain over the years. And rather than be angry about it, he and his wife uh, donated $75 million to form a true institute to change the way that we look at pain. Part of that was to establish two endowed professorships which are so vital to our institution, both for recruiting the absolute best people in the world and for retaining them. And so whenever we are fortunate enough to make a discovery that down the road ends up fundamentally changing either the way we understand a particular patient or better yet, the way we treat that particular patient, uh, it's, it's an indescribable joy. Now, Bob had a spinal cord injury where there's a cluster of abnormal nerves that are firing in an abnormal way. The, the operation that we do in these extreme cases is called DREZ. And we make very precise cuts either with a laser or with a radio frequency probe, and we try to silence all of these abnormal neurons. It's very precise, but unfortunately, it's also dangerous. But the operation was a success. And it is rare as a neurosurgeon that I truly have the impact on a person's life that I do when I do a pain procedure. To wake up and for the arm pain to be gone, it was probably the coolest couple of minutes of my life. Now I can go to work every day, go for rides with my friends and enjoy family time. I also picked up drag racing because you can't let something scare you from doing what you love. I'm greatly appreciative of both Dr. Bellsberg and Dr. Katerina for their pursuit to help people. Without them, I don't know as I'd be here and I don't know as a lot of other people that are in my situation would be here.